Today's a celebration, a celebration of love, a commitment, a friendship, a family, and of two people who are in it together forever. We have thousands of important moments that happen throughout our lives, but this one is regarded as extraordinary. We acknowledge this by sharing this with others, but why this moment? Despite all of our differences, love is what we all share as a great unifier, our universal truth. That no matter who we are, where we come from, what we believe, we know one thing, that love is what we're all doing right. Andrew has been a constant in my life. He has been there through all of the life's difficulties, sometimes at a moment's notice. Held me up and kept me on track through trials nobody else even knew about. He has celebrated with me when I have achieved goals. He has been genuinely happy for me when I've had success had faith and confidence in me that I sometimes didn't have in myself. I didn't just gain a friend, I gained a brother. To my wife, Cassandra, as I stand before you, I can honestly tell you that I have no hesitation, no apprehensions, and complete confidence in committing the rest of my life with you and to us. You've become a necessity to me. I want to grow old with you and have beautiful babies. <laughs> this is the way. Oh my God. Here we are, witnessing the union of... Wow. Passing Andrew. Yeah. Very. Which is just another example of how we've grown into our unique lives with men who we chose to support us, love us, in all of our endeavors. Andrew, the very first moment I laid eyes on you, I saw your big blue eyes, your handsome face, and your cool kid kind of walk from across the way. And you were coming right for me. I thought to myself, Damn, that guy's hot. <laughs> I never thought that my usual after work drink would turn into a now five year relationship, two beautiful stepdaughters, a crazy Italian family, <laughs> and a marriage. But here we stand. Look at us now. What I really love about Cassie is the happiness she has brought to Andrew. There are two subjects that always make Andrew smile. His girls, Amy and April, and Cassie. So, by the power vested in me, by the state of California, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss your bride. There are no words that will ever be able to come together to accurately describe the love that I have for you. From the little things like taking my shoes off for me after we've had a night out, <laughs> to the big things like picking me up out of the shower as I've broken down from COVID nursing. You have shown me so much love. I'm glad we were both able to find someone to share our food with, tell us that our jokes aren't funny, and to annoy us almost as much as we used to annoy each other. <laughs> I, I pray that you both grow together, create memories together, inspire each other, support each other, and love each other. Before you were a licensed RN, and started saving lives on a daily basis, you did save one life, mine. You saved me, Cassie. And I can truly say that I am the man I am today because of you. 
and I will spend the rest of my life showing you how much I, pre I appreciate you, appreciate what you've done for me. Your love is so big and I thank God for it every day. In you I have found my lover, my best friend, my partner, my someone to grow in life with and grow old with. You two have a whole life ahead of you, which means there will be ups and there will be downs, there will be good and there will be bad. But when you have the right person by your side, you can get through anything. I want you to know that I'm choosing you and I will continue to choose you for the rest of my life. I may not have been a lot of your first, but I vow to be the last of everything I wasn't the first of. I love you 3,000. <laughs>